Hi, and welcome to Temeco. During this video, we are going to learn what is meant by dynamics, what branches are included in it, and where the theory and the concepts of dynamics could be used in the real world. We will also learn the procedure of analysis related to the problems regarding dynamics. Let's get started. The first thing that we need to know is the definition of dynamics. What is meant by dynamics? Well, dynamics is the branch of mechanics which studies objects which experience an acceleration that is caused by the external force or forces. If you recall, in the previous course which dealt with statics, we only studied the systems which were at rest or moved with a constant velocity. So as you can see, the main difference between statics and dynamics is the state of equilibrium. In the field of statics, we study objects which are in equilibrium, whereas in dynamics, the studied objects are not in equilibrium, but instead, they are experiencing an acceleration which is caused by the applied force or forces. If we want, we could divide the field of dynamics into two different branches, which are kinematics and kinetics. What is the difference between these two, you may ask? Well, kinematics is the branch of dynamics which studies the motion possibilities of a certain object without taking into consideration the force or forces which cause the initial movement of the object, whereas kinetics also considers the reason for the movement. Some of you may be thinking, that this sounds very cool and such, but what or where do we actually need the theory of dynamics for? If you think about it, the theory of dynamics is pretty much applied in many different applications. For example, nowadays almost everyone in the industry wants to improve the performance of machine and appliances. This is the kind of problem which is related to dynamics and therefore it is critical for us to have some understanding of the theory of dynamics in order to solve the problem. Some of the concrete applications where you may need dynamics for designing improved machines are, for instance, different variety of cars, planes, elevators, working machines, and industrial robots. You also need the skills in dynamics for designing different kinds of rotary machines like electric motors, pumps, and turbines. Of course, you can question whether we really need to know the theory and concepts of dynamics, because nowadays, we have these fine computers and design software that are making all the needed calculations and analysis for us. However, the understanding of dynamics becomes useful when you have to critically analyze the results yourself. If you couldn't, then you wouldn't consider if the results are reasonable or not. This could lead to malfunctioned products. So instead of relying entirely on computers and design software, consider them more as a design tool and preferably use your own knowledge during the design process. Let's see now how the problems related to dynamics can be generally solved. The first thing that you should do is to read the problem carefully so that you understand what is asked and then make necessary assumptions and simplifications. After you have done this step, move on to drawing the free body diagram of the system under investigation. Note that this is one of the most critical aspects. Then, gather necessary mathematical equations that you need for solving the problem and apply them. For the final step, analyze the obtained solution and consider if the solution is reasonable. If it is, it's a good possibility that you may have solved the problem correctly. If it's not, then think about possible reasons that may have led to the wrong solution. Most often, the reason for wrong solutions may be that you haven't understood the problem completely. There may be some problems related to the free body diagram of the system studied, or you may have incorrectly typed something in your calculator. There you have it. Hopefully, by watching this video, you know the definition of dynamics and its branches. You have also some kind of idea where the theory and concepts of dynamics can be used. You also know the steps for solving the problems related to dynamics. In the next video, we begin to discuss and learn about the concepts related to the kinematics of a particle. 
Thanks for watching and have a nice day.